Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, Nelson. How are you? I'm great, teacher. And you? How are you today? I'm great. Thanks for asking. How was your day? It was a little hard, teacher. Really? A lot of yeah. work? Yes, a lot of work. I'm tired. Yeah, I imagine that. But um, it's night, so I hope you can rest a little bit after the class. Okay? Oh, yes, I hope so. <laughs> but, but the do weather you... is very hot. I know, I know. You know, in my city, it was very cloudy, so I thought that it's, it will rain, but nothing. <laughs> It's very disappointing. I mean, yes, I, I, I saw it the, in the news uh -huh. that the things raining today at night. Uh -huh. but another, another place. Okay. <laughs> well, maybe. I mean, let's be positive <laughs> and let's wait. <laughs> maybe so, after the class. Yeah, maybe after the class, but. I mean, I'm not asking like a lot of rain. I just wish it could be like a little more, I don't know, at least a little fresher, at least a little bit. <laughs> it was in the afternoon or at night. Well, I hope it's at night. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. But in the oh. afternoon, it's so hot. <laughs> I mean, right now it's so hot. Yeah. Yes. It is very hot too. Right. <laughs> yeah, <Not> unfortunately. <laughs> Hello guys. Welcome to the class. How are you today? Hello, hello, hello. Okay, I can see Hector. How are you, Hector? I'm fine, teacher, but my camera um, not no funciona, not um, doesn't work. Maybe doesn't work good, but I'm here, teacher. I'm glad um, you're here. Ah, now it's working. I can see you now. Yeah, but for a little moment, work like me. <laughs> Another <laughs> moment, no, dizzy. The camera okay. is very dizzy. What happens is that lazy. No, lazy. Lazy. <laughs> what happens is that maybe it's tired. <laughs> it's a little tired. The camera <laughs> doesn't want to work. Okay, but maybe. welcome. Yeah. Welcome to the class, Hector. Um, I can see Magdalena Thank too. You. How are you, Magdalena? Hello, teacher. How are you? Uh, arriving at home <laughs> early time. that's great yes. you are not driving yes i am on time yeah i arrived just um, maybe five minutes five minutes ago oh really oh my gosh yeah. <laughs> well <laughs> yeah. good for you you are on time that's excellent yeah All right. thank you very and your good day? how was it was pretty good we were talking with nelson that it, the weather is was so hot and it's still so hot. How about in your oh, cities? Really? What is the weather like today? Hot. <laughs> with, uh, with danger of, of rain. Okay. But hot. <laughs> like the hell says. Like hell. Uh, just me. <laughs> I know, it's guys. Hot. So imagine, well, let's be positive. Maybe during the night some rain can appear but we never know but let's be yeah. positive <laughs> okay holman i can see you how are you hello holman how are you today <clears throat> how was your day um yeah it was okay, the same routine. Okay. It's mm, but it's almost Friday. Friday. 
Yes. Uh, Wednesday. It's... We are in the middle already. <laughs> so let's resist, guys. Let's resist a little bit. Okay. Welcome, everybody. Thank you so much for being on time. I hope you are doing well. We are in the middle. And remember, guys, basically, if we don't count today, we have two more days of classes and you will be in the next level. Don't you feel excited? Yes? Yes, I do. And only Magdaleno looks happy. And you guys, are you ready for the next level? Or do you want to continue here in the same level? Do you want to repeat? No, teacher. Ah, very good. Thank you, Nelson. Oh, but looking... I don't wait. You are ready. Come on. Don't be negative. And look at this. Ivan looks like he, he's at the beach. We'll be the fan of the teacher for the next level, teacher. Ah. <laughs> Come on. I am Tunko. Ah, you are at Tunka Beach. Okay, guys, look at this. <laughs> wow, when I grow up, maybe. Yeah, right. Well, we have a lot of money like him. <laughs> yes, of course. All right. Welcome, guys. I'm happy to see you. And, guys, yes, of course, you are more than ready for the next level. Of course, you have to continue practicing right you knew you need more and new challenges and look at the bright side in a couple of months you will be in advanced level and you will be super pro okay so look just imagine guys i want you to think about yourself acuérdense de cuando estaban allá en beginners Right, cuando empezaban a decir hello, cuando empezaban a ver el verbo to be. Do you remember when you started to see the verb to be? Yes, cuando empezaron a ver la third person, que por qué she, he, and it cambiaban. So, just imagine, try to remember those moments y miren lo lejos que han llegado. Okay, ya ahora hasta ya hablamos de adverbs. Right, de los adjectives, de cómo cambiarlos. Ya ahora ya se pueden los tiempos gramaticales. So, imagine. Y eso sin contar el vocabulary. Ahora ya hablamos de warehouse, warehouse management. So, han llegado muy lejos. Así que yo creo que la mitad del camino ya lo hicieron y ese es como, como la mitad más difícil porque es cuando inician. Así que lo que resta ya es solo pulirlo, guys. I mean, so you can do it. Eh, let's see, Erika with faith, says, with faith, of course, don't forget that. And Erika says, kids English to advance English, of course. Ya, yeah, you are not kids anymore. You are already old. You are like grown up, ya crecieron, right? Así que ya están listos, guys. You are more than ready. Pretty good. So be positive, okay? Always positive, never negative. So let's start. Uh, we were practicing some adverbs, if you remember. So let's see if you remember the topics and let's continue. Can you see the presentation, everyone? Yes. 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 Excellent. Yes. Okay. So today is June 14th. We are about to finish the week number five and the level two. Now, the topics that we are going to study today is design a basic plan to organize an inventory management. A little long, <laughs> this topic, but that is what we have to do today. And this is our class objective. I need a volunteer for reading, please. Could I? Yes, please. Class objective. objective. Participant will be able to design a proposal to implement a cycle count program. 
Very good. So when we are talking about design a basic plan to organize an inventory management, yesterday we were talking about some tips uh, about the inventory management. So today we are going to talk about cycle count program. So we are going to see what's that. What is the cycle count program about and some of the characteristics, okay? But first, let's see if you remember this topic. Adjectives versus adverbs, okay? I'm going to show you some sentences. You need to decide if I need an adjective or an adverb, okay? Look at the first one. My father drives. What do you think? Careful or carefully? It's carefully. Carefully, right. Carefully. Are you sure? Yes, I sure. <laughs> yes. I sure. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. Okay, what about this one? Marcos is a very good or good. well? Good. Mm, are you sure? Yes, sure. With your life? And yours too. <laughs> Don't blame me. Come on. <laughs> but yes. So look at the difference, guys. In the first one, if you see, we are not talking about my father. I'm talking about the way that he drives. So I'm describing the action in the second sentence is different i'm describing marcos i'm talking about him that's why i'm using the adjective okay volunteer for reading the next one please i'm gonna try <laughs> thank you go ahead <laughs> Kate says, Juana is so happy because she always passes her exams with flying colors. <laughs> okay. So, guys, Erika says that he's happy. Do you agree? Yes, I agree. Are yes, you sure? Yes. Yes. Totally. Yes. Excellent. <laughs> good job. Good job. Okay. Volunteer for reading the next one, please. Me teacher. Yes, please. Sandra is a very quiet person. Okay, so he says quiet. Everybody? Yes? Yes. No. He's quiet. So the adjective, are you sure? Yes, yeah, sure. Quiet. Sure. Totally. Pretty good. Okay, volunteer for the next one, please. Uh -huh. Who wants to read? I want to. Thank you. Go ahead. My friends and I, my friends and I have to go quickly to catch train. Okay. Do you agree, guys? Quickly? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes? Yes, of course. <laughs> Like a devil voice, yes. <laughs> ah, we be careful. <laughs> exactly. If you see, look at the difference. I'm using the same quiet and quietly. In the first one, Sandra is very quiet. I'm describing a noun. But in the second one, I'm not describing my friends. I'm not talking about me. I'm talking the action the way that we need to go. Do we need to go slowly or do we need to go quickly? Okay, so I need the adverb. Pretty good job. Okay, I need a volunteer for the next one. Who wants to try? Okay, people how to speak quietly in the library. What's the, what's the pronunciation? Library? Library. Excuse me, library. Excellent. Okay, so quietly, are you sure? Yes. 
¿Ya? Ahí only. Ok. And yes, again, I'm not talking about the library. I'm not talking about the people. I'm explaining the way that they have to speak. Ok. How do they need to speak? Quietly. Pretty good job. Ok. I need another volunteer. Who wants to try? Participate. Participate, guys. Teacher, that sound was so loudly. Okay, loudly. Do you agree, guys? Yes, of course. <laughs> you know, I like that Ivan always says yes when, when Magdaleno provides the answer. Ah, that's a good friendship. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> yes. Okay, with your life? Yes. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, my ah, gosh. Hey. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, my hey, Magdaleno, come on. <laughs> what happened? We are tired. Yeah. You're dead already. So, guys, dead. yeah, you're dead. Rest in peace. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Be careful because look at the sentences. That sound... Was so when I say sound, am I uh, uh, talking about a verb, an action, or I'm giving a characteristic of the sound? I confused with the verb was. Ah, that was the mistake. I, I thought I thought that the adverb because uh, was. Because the way for the sound. Ah, okay. Yeah, but be careful. In this case, guys, remember what the instructions said. When we are talking about the adjectives, we can use different verbs with the adjectives, like verb to be, the verb feel, so the verb taste, the verb listen or hear or taste. And we can use verbs with the adjectives. What I recommend is to ask questions. Para saber de qué estamos hablando, you can ask the question. Okay, if it is for the adjective, can I say what? What are they saying? What is the sound about? If it is talking about the action, we don't ask what, we ask how. How is the action like? So besides the verb to be, I don't have another verb. That's why I cannot answer the question how. How is the action? Mm, I don't know. Porque no tengo un verbo que me represente una action. So, what is the characteristic? Ah, the characteristic of the sound is loud. Okay, so be careful with that. All right, who's next? Participate, everyone. Who wants to read the next one, please? Can I teach you? <clears throat> yes, go ahead. Don't speak so loud, so loudly. I can't hear you very well. Okay, loudly or loud? Loudly. Loud? No, loud, loudly. Ah, loudly. Okay, guys. Mm -hmm. I think. Do you agree with him? Yeah, I agree. I agree with Vector. <laughs> with your life. <laughs> yes, in Nelson yeah. lives too. <laughs> say and live, say and live. Ah, uh, okay. Now look at the difference. We can answer the question How do I have to speak? Ah, you need to speak loudly. Very good. Okay, I haven't heard girls. Well, only just me participated, and the only uh, the other girls. 
Uh -huh. Do I have more girls to participate? Uh -huh. Girls? Only the boys. Uh -huh. No one? <laughs> All right. Very, uh, yes? Uh -huh. The turtle is a very slow animal. Slow animal. Guys, do you agree? Yes. Yes. Yes, it's an adjective. It's an adjective. Definitely. Very good job. How about this one? My best friend Douglas can do math exercise very easy, very easily. Easy. Easily. Easily. Are you sure? Easy for me. Yes. No. Easy. Easy for me. Easy. Mm, letter A. So I. again, am I talking about Douglas or am I describing the action? What is the in characteristic of Douglas or how does he do the action? Yes, my, my opinion. In my opinion, the, the statement is describing the action uh, how uh, Douglas do the math exercise. Mm, okay. Do you agree, guys, or do you have another idea? For me, it's easily. Easily, too? Yes. Okay. And yes, that's the one. So, as Magdalena said, in this case, guys, we are describing how he does the action. How does Douglas resolve the math problems? Ah, he can resolve it very easily. ¿Cómo resuelve los ejercicios? Fácilmente. Mente. Right? So we cannot say, ah, él resuelve los ejercicios fácil. Mm, no, right? Because it's not an adjective. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, how about this one? Volunteer for reading? Teacher Ed usually eat his lunch quickly because he has classes at 1 p.m. Okay, so he says quickly. Do you agree, everyone? Yes. Agree. Yes, it's a verb. Very good. You see, you are improving. You are learning. Excellent. Okay, this exercise to practice adverse or of manner is not very easy. 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 Totally. Pretty good job. Okay, so this is the way that we can identify adjectives versus adverbs. I know it's not easy. I know it's a little bit complicated, right? But we have to continue practicing it, okay? Always practice, guys. Um, the more you practice, the more that you will learn, okay? So I know that it's not simple, but we have to try. Any questions so far? No. No questions, are you sure? No yet. No yet, <laughs> maybe during an exam. <laughs> okay. Yes, maybe then. <laughs> and Ivan and Magdaleno, sorry, but you <laughs> might have condolence <laughs> on the on the neck. Myself uh, or myself. Yeah, sorry for you guys. Okay, before continue, I'm going to check attendance. But guys, remember if you are not listeners, camera on, please. Remember that's a rule, it's not optional. Okay. Cameras on. Um, let's see attendance. When you listen to your name, say present. Adriana Escalante. Present. Okay. Carlos Abrego. Present. Okay. Eh, Christian Alexander. 
I think he's listener, right? Okay. Um, Erika Yasmin. Present. Okay, Fatima Denise. Fatima, no? Okay. Eh, Germán Alexander. Present. Okay. Héctor Francisco. Present teacher. Okay. Um, Isabel Hernández. Present. Okay. Iván Guzmán. Present. All right. Jamie Raquel. Present. Very good. Holman Giron. Present. Very good. Lucy Natalie. Present teacher. Excellent. Magdaleno Escalante. Present. Okay. Teacher. Mirna Elizabeth. Oh, I think she's listener too. Okay. Um, Nelson Antonio. Present. Very good. Oscar Armando. Okay. And Rosalina Alvarado. Rosalina? No? All right. Pretty good. Okay. Let's continue, guys. Now we are going to talk about something a little bit different. Let's stop thinking about the adverbs, okay? Let's relax. Later, we are going to continue talking about it. Now, we are going to talk about the management inventory. I have these questions for you. How do companies keep their inventory count accurate? Yesterday, we were talking about the importance of have a very good inventory system. So now, what do you think? How do they can have or how, do they, how can they keep their inventory count accurate? Do you know what accurate is? No, teacher. Anyone? It's like... If something is exactly correct accurate means exact when for example or when something is real um imagine if i tell you some news and you say teacher but is that true are you sure Yes, the news is totally true. I can give you proofs. So basically is correct, is exact. So how do companies keep their inventory account? Correct, exact. What do you think? I, I think... Uh... But uh, inventory acquired. Accurate. Uh, accurate. Thank you. Accurate. In my company, uh, uh, how do physicians inventories are made? Hmm. Do you mean paper. that you have uh, um the inventory in paper? That's what you mean. Oh, uh, uh, physical, physical. Mm -hmm. The, the check. Ah, okay. That's a good idea. That's a way that you can keep your inventory accurate. Mm -hmm. What else? Then they compare the the, the okay. systems, physical versus ah, systems. That's a good idea, right? So imagine if you have a mistake in the system, but you can see if the ones that you have on your hands is accurate or not. Hmm, that sounds good. Good idea. How about you guys? What do you think? I, I think they also keep the inventory and in spreadsheet system. Ah, very good. Exactly. And that is important too. And it helps to be more organized. Very good. Now, what do you think about the other one? How often should a warehouse keep count of their inventory? 
but not only warehouse. I mean, think about in general, in each company, how often should they check their inventory? Every year, every month, every two years? What do you think? How often? I think it depends how often they sell the product. If they, if they sell the product day to day, I don't remember, day to day? Day to day? Day to day, they have to check the inventory daily. Okay, that's a good idea. Do you have any other opinion, guys? What do you think? I know that somebody who manages a warehouse keep count their inventory monthly. Monthly, all right. And how about in your companies, guys? How often does your company check inventory? Unless, unless uh, one off. Every every month. Every month. Okay. So you see, here as your classmate says, it depends, right? Depends of the type of company, the type of product, how often you need to restock, how much you sell. So. It can be different depending on each company or depending on each warehouse. Very good. So if you remember yesterday, always talking about the inventory management, we studied four tips. Do you remember the four tips that we studied yesterday? Uh-huh. Honestly, I forget it. <laughs> it, it it's I because... Okay, Nelson, what do you say? No, I don't remember the structure, teacher. Ah, okay, guys. Extra point for the one who says the four tips, yes. but without looking your notebooks. Uh-huh. Okay, make a, make a plan, execute. Make a plan and execute. That is the mm -hmm. first one. Very good, Ivan. Yes. What else? Um, you have to you have to do inventory every day. Inventory every day. Okay. What else? Something about vendors. I don't remember. <laughs> Something about vendors. Okay. Just multiply vendors. Ah, uh, yeah. Is that? <laughs> all right so guys don't forget the vocabulary so yeah right we got the four tips for effective inventory management we have make a plan and then execute do you remember what was the definition for make a plan is the theory theory paragraphs the third or, paragraph. The, the first paragraph. Or purchase things, understands when and how much product to buy. Oops. Yes, that was the one. Then we have use multiple vendors. If you remember, we were talking about to have like a backup. It is important to have more than one official vendor in case that you need to sell the product. Then we were talking about consistent, constant communication. Hmm, what is that? In the last one, a good relation. Very good, excellent. And the last one, create compliance policies. Okay, so in this case, we were creating policies or laws that are going to help us, 
right? To keep everything in order. Those are four tips for an effective inventory management. Now, besides the four tips, we are going to analyze more about this topic. And I have a conversation here. I have Steve and Anna. They are trying to find out the location of two products, okay? They received the products and they are trying to find them in their warehouse. I will need volunteers for reading. So who wants to read? I want to be a volunteer. Thank you. Okay, you will be Steve. Who else? Can I? Yes, please. You will be Anna. Um, let me open up the conversation. I will try to do it bigger. Give me a second. Guys, this is on your manuals. So if you have your manuals, it's in the page 37. Uh, I think that this is bigger. Can you see the conversation? Yes, bigger. Excellent. Okay, you can start. It says here in the inventory that we have 200 wooden planks, but I can't find them anywhere. Do you have an idea where I could find them? 200 wooden planks. I remember we got a order from a manufacturer. Let me see if I can find any record here. The, the order, the order was from the people who manufacture tables. Wait, the manager is also asking for a quick uh, rate of electronic devices delivered from China a week ago, but I can't find them either. I see the problem. The 200 wooden boards were recording as 20 wooden planks, and it seems the crate was placed in the ground dock. Thank you. All right, what is the conversation about? What is happening here? They, they are speaking about some things what um, appear in the inventory and physically they are not uh, they are not there they aren't they aren't there exactly what is the product that they can't find i don't understand the, the word uh, the the word planks wooden planks i don't know something planks. made of wooden of wooden wood. so i'm going to show you a picture so look at this with this you will know imagine that you want to create a furniture like a table like a door what you what do you need wood ah but in this way it's not just a piece of wood it's a plank so basically it's like when we in spanish say una Tabla. Okay, so that is plank. All right. So in this case, they have those uh, objects, those items, but they could not find them. And why? Why they can't find them? What happens here? Actually, they exist but they are in a wrong uh, dock. That is the one. So they supposed to be in a place, but in the inventory, I mean, they are not in the place that they should be. They are in the wrong dock. And the wrong dock means that they are in the wrong place they are not in the stand that they should be okay and this is one of the issues that people can have when they don't have a good inventory management and that is exactly what we need to prevent 
Okay, so in this moment, guys, I want you to start thinking as managers. We need to resolve and prevent these kind of issues. Okay, so let's see some steps to organize an inventory management system. Again, imagine that you are the managers. Okay, so let's see these steps. I have here some steps. Look at this. Oops. Okay, we got organized product and vendors information. Another step to organize our inventory management is to create and submit accurate purchase orders. What else is another step? Receive inventory with speed and accuracy. Uh, we can also tag and label inventory and record your sales. So right. in this yeah. moment, I just want you to match these steps with the correct definition. So for example, organize products and vendors information. What do you think? What is that? Imagine that you are the manager and say, okay, we need to organize products and vendor information. Okay, but what is that? Look at the definitions. What would be the best definition for that one? In the second teacher, maybe get the all second. of your products and vendor information organized in on one place, product information, description, and shipping info. Include a well the business name and business contact info. Hmm. All right. What do you think, guys? Do you agree? Yes, teacher. You say it makes sense. Hmm. Okay. How about you, everyone? I think either. I think two. I think two. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, how, how I can say your pianos igual? I think the same. I think the same. In this mm -hmm. case, I think the same. All right. Same. Okay. So if you are sure, write it down. Now, Again, I will give you five minutes to complete this matching. Again, you have to read carefully, find the keywords, and let's see if your answers are correct or not. If you have a question about the vocabulary, I mean, if you find a word that you don't know what the meaning is, tell me and I will help you with that. So everybody, let's go match these steps with the correct meaning. Do you have five minutes? Go ahead. Read carefully, read carefully, everyone. Try to identify the keywords. Try to understand the meaning so you can match correctly. Try to keep the easiest ones first, and then you can complete the ones that you consider are a little bit more difficult. 
You have four more minutes. If you have a question, just let me know, please. If you're ready, tell me. What's, what's meaning word tack? I'm sorry? What's meaning word tack? Tack and label inventory, tack. Oh, tack is when, for example, when you have a t-shirt and it is new, it have a tag. That means a little piece of paper with the noun, with the size, with the number, with the price. That is the meaning of tag. For example, when we want to translate it, we can say, una? Anyone? No? Etiqueta, right? Mm. So that is the meaning of tag. It can be a noun, like etiqueta, and also it can be a verb, like etiquetar. That's why uh, in the social networks we say hashtag, <laughs> okay? Or if you are adding picture, ahí le dice, right? ¿Quieres etiquetar a esa persona? If you have your social networks in English, it will say tag a person. Mm. Thank you. You're welcome. Ready, guys, or not yet? If you have a question, just let me know, please. Two more minutes. Okay, everybody? I, I think that is done. Okay. How about you guys? You finished? Yes? Everyone? Or not yet? 
No yet. No yet? Yeah. Okay, and you guys, you finished? No yet? Okay, I will give you two more minutes. Okay, two more minutes, and we are going to start checking the answers. Try to read carefully. Identify the keywords. And then we are going to see if your answers are correct or not. Two more minutes. All right, time's up. So I will be asking one by one. All right, and I'll start with the ones with the camera off, of course. Let's see. Aha, uh -huh. Hector. Hello, Hector. Ah, okay, okay, no problem. Okay, um, let me ask to, 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 to Adriana. Hello, Adriana. Hi. Okay, in the number one, you want to record what product was sold, what the product's listed price is, discounts, and what price was actually paid for the product. What do you think? What is that? Mm, I think that maybe it could be record your sale. Okay. Your sales. Your sales. Sale. Everybody, what do you think? In my opinion, teacher, is purchase uh, related to purchase orders. Uh, second, create and submit accurate purchase orders because he is speaking about. Uh, and purchases and a lot of information that is an order. An okay. order. Everybody, how about you? We have two options right here. Some of your classmates say uh, that is create and submit. Some others say that is record yourself. So. Yes, uh huh. I think is record yourself. Say this. Record a uh, record your sales. Yes. 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 Okay. And actually, yes, that's the one. In this case, remember, basically, if you want to record it, that means everything related to that information, right? Uh, we need to keep in mind 
create and submit accurate purchase orders, it makes a lot of sense too. However, here we are talking about to keep the information about your sales. And when we are talking about sales, we are talking about the products that you sold, the price. When we are talking about sales, also we include discounts we include the price or how much money you pay for your product so everything related to sales okay now uh, adriana pick one of your classmates please say um nelson antonio thank you nelson in the number two Get all of your products and vendors information organized. And in one place, you can say product information, description, da 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 da. What is that? What do you think? In my opinion, it's all this product and vendor information. Okay. Do you agree, everyone, or do you have any other ideas? I agree. You agree? Yes. Okay. Who else? Who else? Do you agree or do you have any other idea, guys? No? No more ideas? Yes, there is that. And actually, that is correct. Pretty good. So what your classmate said at the beginning, it was correct. Everything related to the organization is over here, right? You have to think about the organization of the information, about the description, the shipping, everything related to the business and the contact info. Pretty good job. Now, let's see, Nelson, pick one of your classmates, please. I don't... Who? Ivan, Ivan, I don't ah. know if there. Me, me. Yes. I'm here. Yes, he's here, of the car. Go ahead. Number three, what is that? Uh huh. Yeah. Um, I think I uh, received inventory with a speed and uh, a quality. Accuracy? Uh, excuse okay. me, accuracy. So receive inventory with speed and accuracy. That means do this to your inventory and it will ensure customers and cashiers are not confused about the product's price. Hmm. Do you agree, everyone? In my I opinion, see. yes. Yes, in my opinion is stack and lab label inventory. Okay. Um, How about you guys? I agree with Magdaleno. I agree with Magdaleno. Too. So, <laughs> I why? Tag and label inventory? Yes. And yes, pretty good. Yes, mom. So remember in this case, we are talking about to add the tag. So look, the customers and the cashiers, they don't get confused about the price. Just think when you go to the supermarket or to the mall or wherever, and you want to buy something. ¿Qué es lo primero que hacemos cuando vamos a comprar un product? You see, see the, the level. Display. You see Label. the tag, right? I mean, you can see how much is the product because you need to know how much you will pay. That's why it is important to tag and label the products in your inventory. Pretty good job. Okay, Ivan, can you pick one of your classmates, please? Okay. Let me see. A victim. Uh, Jamie, please. Okay, Jamie, in the number four, what do you think? Mm. 
please let me remember. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, receive inventory with a speed and accuracy. Accuracy? Accuracy. Yes. Hmm. Okay, everybody, what do you think? Do you agree? Yes, I yes. agree. I, I agree yes. with her. Why? Why do you think that that's the correct answer? Uh -huh. What is the key word that makes you think that that is the correct answer? Purchase. Purchase? Hmm. Purchase. Okay, let's see. <laughs> and that's the correct one. You see, guys, now your reading analysis is better than yesterday. You are doing great. So when we are talking about receive inventory with speed and accuracy, basically, uh, we are just defining all the details about delivery, uh, purchase orders, to check the catalog and everything, right, related to the inventory. And... This is something that you have to do before it put away in the stock room. Now, the last one, we just have one more option. When we incorporate a purchase order system to make purchases, I'm sorry, purchases accurate and avoid confusions. So what is that? Create and submit a credit. Purchase orders. Accurate. Accu accurate. 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 Exactly. So this is when we just create, guys, and add exact information about the purchase orders. So these are steps that we can follow in order to organize our inventory management. Which of these steps do you consider is the most important for you? Imagine, again, you are the manager. So imagine that you have a warehouse. So for you, which of these steps is the most important? What do you think? Record sales. Okay, some of you says record your sales. Uh, Nelson, you were saying? I think it's that and label inventory. All right. Who else? How about you guys? Which of these steps do you consider is the most important? According to the concept, in my opinion, is the number four, receive inventory with speed and accuracy. Mm, okay. Who else? Anyone? Anyone else? What do you think? Do you agree with your classmates or do you have any other idea? The number four. Is the most important. Receive inventory? Yeah. The uh -huh. warehouse receive the products versus okay. uh, deliver it. Mm, all right. Anyone else? Yes? No? Do you agree? All right, it's pretty good. Now, listen to me, everyone. I There are some people that I don't usually listen to practice, okay? I have a lot of volunteers and that's great. Thank you guys for always participating. But there are some people that I never listen to and I want you to participate, guys, please. So basically, these are some of the steps that you can follow to have an organized inventory. Pretty good job. Now, always talking about inventories, 
it's time to know what a cycle count program is. Have you ever heard this concept, cycle count program? No, teacher, I never heard that. Never? No Anyone? idea. All right. Never. No worries. Let's see what is this about. Okay. I need a volunteer, please, for reading the concept. I want to. Go if ahead. You... Yes, go ahead. Okay. Cycle count is a method of checks and balances with which companies confirm physical inventory counts match their inventory records. This method involves uh, performing a regular count and recording the adjustment of a specific product. Over time, they have counted all their goods. All right. So if you pay attention, you can think that this concept is a little bit confusing. So let's analyze keywords, okay? It's saying that the cycle count is a meters, right? They check and balances by which the companies confirm physical inventory, okay? This is similar as what, as what Ivan was saying about his company. They check the physical inventory, like in the picture number one, look, and in the picture number two, they are checking physically the products that they have. And then what do they do? They match the inventory records. What does it mean? They go to the computer, they go to the spreadsheet, and they check if everything matches. They check if the physical inventory matches with the records that they can have on the computer, okay? And something important, this method involves performing Look, regular, okay? And in this case, it can be different, different times. It can be once a month. It can be once a week, every day. Or in some companies, it's just like once a year, okay? So again, Cycle count means match or check the physical inventory, match them with the records. You have to perform this activity regularly. And it depends on the company. Every year, every month, every week, or every day. Is it clear what the cycle count is? In other words, is is the action for check the physic and the and the computer? Basically, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. exactly. And in Spanish is inventario. Exactly. Inventario físico. Exactly. Remember, guys. Nowadays, we, I mean, all the company works with technology. Okay, so. All of the inventory is registered in a spreadsheet. In una hoja de cálculo, right? They have all the inventory. So what do they need to do? They just have to match. ¿Será que lo que tengo aquí en físico concuerda con los detalles que yo tengo en mi file on the computer? Yes or no? And why? So imagine si en mi sistema electrónico yo tengo que tengo eh, 10 cajas de atún, for example. This is just an example. 
But when I go to my warehouse and check the products, I can see that I just have one box. Do they match the physical with the system? They not don't match. Exactly, they don't match. So we need to know why, what happens, what was the problem here? So the cycle count system, they prevent those types of issues, okay? That's why you need to perform, look, regularly. Again, it depends on each company. You can do it daily, weekly, monthly, or every year. So do you consider, guys, that cycle counts is a good way to keep your inventory system accurate? Yes or no? Yes, of course, teacher. I remember. I remember what I remember. I worked for a, a distrib distributor, did you remember? Mm -hmm. And then sometimes I was a seller. I remember sometimes I sell something and don't, and it doesn't exist in the, in, in the warehouse. It does oh exist at the inventory and in, in, in my computer, in my file, and doesn't exist physically imagine that's a big problem <laughs> because imagine you are selling something that you don't have right and that happens guys it's like a very common error and this happens when people uh, they don't have a very accurate control of this for example imagine that you go to well, I will say the names. Imagine that you go to this warehouse like La Curacao or Omnisport or Prado and you say, I want to buy a refrigerator. And you say a very specific refrigerator and they say yes. And imagine that you buy the refrigerator, but at the moment they check the warehouse, they don't have more. How would you feel? you as a customer imagine that you already paid for it how will you feel mm -hmm. happy angry alguna vez les ha pasado or not i feel disappointed disappointed exactly disappointed. and you can lose right the trust in the company so as a warehouse they need to be very careful with the inventory imagine that you are the managers those are some errors that you need to prevent okay so always talking about the cycle count here we got some uh, characteristics okay of the cycle count programs. I want you to see these sentences and I want you to read them and decide which of these characteristics or benefits are the most important. You have to give the number one to the characteristic that you consider is the most important. And give number five, to the benefits that you consider hmm, is the least important, okay? So for example, imagine the number one. The number one says, um, cycle camp program reinforces the importance of accuracy in your organizational culture. How important is that for you? Is the number one, number two, three, four, or five? What do you think? Reinforces the importance of accuracy in your organizational culture. Is that important for you as manager of a warehouse?
Yes? No? A little bit? Yes, because is is he, uh, who organized? Mm -hmm. So we are going to read all of these advantages, okay? And I want you to rank them. Here, guys, there is not like a correct or incorrect answer. This is personal. But I want you to see this as manager. Imagine that you are the manager. Write the number one to the advantage that you consider is the most important. And number five to the ones that you consider that is, it is important, but it's the last one. Okay? You have three minutes. Three minutes to rank the benefits of the cycle count program. Go ahead, three minutes. If you have a question about the vocabulary, just let me know. Teacher, yes. Tell me. What's many What's many inventory carry costs? Oh, inventory. What is, what is the concept? Okay, in this case, guys, inventory carry cost um, is when you waste money or when you lose money in some errors that it can have the inventory. It's similar to um, the examples that we were providing. Imagine that there is a mistake in your inventory. So these mistakes or these errors will cost you money. It's going to give you some loose, okay? Mm. Inventory carry guys son esos errores en el inventory que les van a costar money. Okay, that is the meaning for inventory carry cost. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it. thank you. You're welcome. Okay, one more minute, guys. Remember, you have to rank for one to five. One is the advantage that you consider the most important. And five is like the least important. It's not important for you at all. One more minute, and we are going to compare the answers. Okay, everybody, you ready? Yes? Yes, I am. Okay, and the rest of you guys, ready? All right, I will be asking one by one again. So let's see. Um, do, 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 do. Herman, Herman, imagine that you are the manager. 
in your warehouse, you want to start applying the cycle count program. So for you, which of these ones is the most important advantages? The most important. Mm -hmm. Which one has the number one? Um, wait a minute. All right. Um, I think help identify and correct perceiving. Okay, so for you, this one is the most important. Helps identify and correct receiving, shelving, ordering, packaging. Yes? Yes. Hmm, okay, thank you, Herman. Okay, guys, what about you? Do you agree? Do you have the same or do you have another idea? For you, which one is the most important? What do you think? I agree, I agree with them. I have the same answer. So you have uh, the number one in the same place too? I have the same too. So do I. <laughs> oh, okay. I have a lot of people with the same answer. That's great. Um, do you have a different answer, guys? Who has a different answer? Me, teacher, I have a different answer. Mm -hmm. For you, which one is Me? the most important? The last one. Raise it productive and efficient so more accurate day. Mm, okay. Anyone? Teacher, I think same Hector. Same to Hector. You have the same that Hector has? Yes. Okay. Anyone else? No? Well, if I had to do the exercise, I will agree with this one too. Remember, if you raise the productivity, you are earning money. If you reduce the errors of operationals and inventory carry, you will avoid to lose more money. But both are pretty important. Nice, very good. Okay, let me ask the next one to, 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 to Holman. Okay, Holman, which of these ones will be the number three for number you? Three. Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe reinforces the importance of occurrence in your organizational culture. Okay. So Holman says that this is the number three for him. So remember, number three is like in the middle. It's not the most important, but it's not the least. Do you agree, guys, with him? Or do you have another opinion? I have another opinion. Which one? I think the... The theory, the three, excuse me, the, the three uh, import is uh, improves your supply chains operators through more accurate inventory data. Okay, so Ivan says that is this one, improves your supply chain operation. Hmm, guys, do you agree or supply do you have another supply one? The supply chain operators, so supply chains operator is very important it because is. Uh, the company uh, reduce the cost in the process. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Pretty good. Okay, guys, do you have the same idea with Holman or Ivan, or do you have a different answer here? I have the same answer with Holman and reinforces the importance of accuracy, accuracy in your organizational culture. That is my opinion. Same. Okay. All right. Who else? I say the same that Ivan. 
All right. <laughs> so we have a tie. Girls, how about you? Which is the number three for you? Do you agree with Ivan or with Holman or do you have a different one? Girls, are you there? Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, I can see the boys are rescuing the group. Girls, let's, let's participate. Okay, so far so good. Now let's see the number five. The number five is like the least important. Let me start asking to, 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 to Lucy. How about you? What do you think is the least important? Lucy, you there? Um, Generate focus on continuous improvement on the organizational level. Okay, so for her, this one is the number five, is the least important. Guys, do you agree with her or do you have another opinion? I have the first one. Do you have the first one? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. The first one. The first one? The first one, too, I think. Okay. Anyone else? Which one is the number five for you guys? The first reports in the first, first one. The first one, too? Yeah. All right. Anyone else? Uh huh. So again, in this case, remember that we don't have correct or incorrect answers. This is basically your opinion. As managers of a warehouse, you have to decide which of these advantages is the most important for you. Which of these advantages is going to give you more benefits? Okay, pretty good. Now, if you were a manager of a warehouse, what do you think? Would you implement the cycle count program in your warehouse? Yes or not? Uh huh. Will you use the cycle count program in your warehouse? Yes, of course, features. All right, actually, it's very useful. <laughs> it's very useful, actually. If in your company they don't do that um, and you think that it could be necessary, you can recommend it, right? Pretty good. Any questions so far about the cycle count program? No, I don't have. No questions? No, no. no. All right, I hope you remember during the exam, okay? Now, before I continue, I'm going to check attendance again. So everybody, when you listen to your names, say present. Um, Adriana Escalante. Present. Okay. Um, Carlos Abrego. Present. Okay. Christian Alexander. Oh, he's listener, I'm sorry, I forgot. Um, Erika Yasmin. I think she's listener too. Yeah. Fatima Denise. Present teacher. Okay. Herman Alexander. Present. Very good. Hector Francisco. Present teacher. Okay. Isabel Hernandez. Present Miss. Okay. Ivan Guzman. Present. Very good. Jamie Raquel. Present. Very good. Holman Giron. Present. Very good. Lucy Natalie. Present. Very good. Magdalena Escalante. Present. All right. Mirna Elizabeth. Oh, she's listener, sorry. Uh, Nelson Antonio. Present. Very good. Oscar Armando. 
Okay. And Rosalina Alvarado. And I think she's listener too. All right, very good. Now guys, we already talk about the management system. Imagine that you are the manager. So we are going to verify if you are a good manager or a bad manager. <laughs> so what do you think? Um, are you good or bad? Uh -huh. Think about your performance as employee. Do you consider yourself as a good employee? Responsible, not responsible. <laughs> what do you think? How do you consider yourself? It's a difficult question, but I don't I don't like to speak about myself. <laughs> ah, very humble. I like that. All right. So basically, guys, we are going to be discussing this topic that is a good or hide achievers. Do you know what achievers is? No, I don't know. Achievers. Achievers. What happens when I say achievements? Have you ever heard the word achievements? No. Like um, when do you finish some um, projects or, or jobs in a good way? Exactly. So guys, achievements is like your goals. Like when we say your, los logros, right? The objects that you got. If I say high achievers, we are talking about people that get their goals. So it will be like triunfadores, right? Uh, people who get what they want. They have some objectives and they get them. Okay, that is what we are going to be discussing in this moment. I have here some sentences, okay? I want you to number the following aspect of being a high achiever. Again, high achiever is triunfadores, right? Esas personas que alcanzan sus logros. I want you to a number from one to 10. The number one is the most important. The number 10 is the least important, okay? So, which of these ones do you consider is the most important if you want to be a high achiever? Being helpful. What is the meaning of being helpful? What do you think? Is motivator in the other people? Mm, could be. When you provide some help for other persons or people. Yes, exactly. Imagine that you have a coworker and the coworker needs your help. What will you do? Will you help him? Yeah. Or not? Yes. Will you help? Yes. Yeah. All right. So if you help, that means that you are helpful to others. Then we have the other one, being highly organized. What is that? It means maybe um, have disciplines. Have what? I don't know if the pronunciation is correct. Discipline, discipline. 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 Mm -hmm. Imagine, just think about uh, your house, think about your desk, or in your workplace, do you have everything well organized or not? So that is another aspect for the high achiever. Um, completing all your tasks on time. What is the meaning of this? Completing all your tasks on time. The manager, uh, uh, he he do uh, the the tasks in in different tasks and on time. Imagine exactly. Imagine that your boss says, "Hey, we need to finish this job today." 
And you finish the project until Friday. <laughs> Are you completing your task on time? Yes or no? Okay. In this case, no, right? Multitask. Ah, multitasking. That is effective too. Now, carrying out instructions. What is the meaning of carrying out instructions? Maybe follow that. Yes, that is the one. You follow instructions. Being mm -hmm. fun to work with. <laughs> what is this? Being it's a fun. fun. It's a function. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine... create, create the environment. Creating the in the climate organization very good. A good environment. So are you the kind of people that are always laughing, smiling, or are you the type of person that is very serious all the time? Hmm. Now look at the next one. Looking for new ways to solve problems. What is this? It's a good skill. It's a good skill for the managers. It solve their problems. Exactly. And then showing you want more responsibility. Huh. Hmm. <laughs> no. Okay. Well, here we got. Here we got. <laughs> I just like more money than <laughs> that. No, I want no you want no, no. you want more money, but no more responsibility. Como se dice si me pagan más, give me money, more ah, more money. If you pay me more, more money. Uh huh. If you pay me more. If you pay me more, or if you give me more money, I will okay. accept more responsibilities. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that did end, right? Okay, guys, so analyzing these characteristics, which of these ones do you consider is the most important? Which of these ones will be the number one? ¿Cuál de estas características deberían ustedes cumplir si ustedes quieren lograr sus objetivos? Si ustedes quieren ser, like, in this scenario, okay, a good manager or a top performance? Which of these actually, ones? Actually, mm -hmm. all of them, actually. Sorry for interrupting you. Okay, all of them are important, absolutely. But you have to pick in order. Which of this one will be the priority, the number one? I, I believe that could be looking for a new ways to solve problems. Okay, so she said that this is the number one. How about you guys? Mm -hmm. Yes, me too. Me too. Uh, the the, the company pays good pays for a manager <laughs> look for uh, new new uh, solver problems. Okay. Aha, uh -huh, guys, and you? Do you agree or do you have any other idea? I agree, teacher. You agree too? Yeah. Yes. Mm. Yes. Yes. Yes, I agree. You agree to? Okay, so looking for new ways to solve problems, that's the top. Which of this one will be the number seven? The number seven is like the least important. What do you think? Which one will be the number seven? The last one, the first so one. you want more responsibility. <laughs> Ivan doesn't want more responsibility. Okay, Ivan says the number seven. Hector, which one do you say? For me, the first one. Being, being, being. Being, being. Helpful to others. Mm. Being. Being helpful. It's it's necessary help help and the and the people in the help company. Help people. Help people in yes. the company. Okay. This is very but, important. Uh, very important. Motivator, <laughs> motivator, the work, the, the work. The workers? The workers. You... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For me, okay. for me, it's my opinion. It's all right, it's all right. How about you guys? I Which think one? it is being fun. Being fun. So being fun is not that important for you. 
it's important, but it's less important mm -hmm. because the almost time is is for distraction anymore. Very good. What else, guys? We have three different options for the number seven. I agree with Nelson. With Nelson yes. being fun? Yes. Uh huh. Everybody. Actually, actually, I, I, I don't agree with the, the being felt. I am um, being being fun to work with. I remember my first um, promotion and my first work work was for drunk with my with my boss. <laughs> No way, for real. <laughs> yeah, for real. I, I was a supervisor because That's... I drank with her, with them. My goodness. All right, guys, don't do that. Okay. Don't don't get promotions by getting drunk. But if it, that works for you, I mean <laughs> That's great. Okay. It, it was not this. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, but I mean, good for you. Good for you. So if you see, I mean, again, this is like different for each person. Okay, everybody thinks different. Here we don't have correct or incorrect answers. These are characteristics for a high achiever or a person who it's someone who reached their goals. Now, let's see some vocabulary i have some words and the definitions let's find it out if i say hallmark have you ever seen that word no hallmark oh, anyone no teacher imagine that i'm describing someone i'm saying ah this person is very helpful this person is always helping people uh, he or she is very smart this person um, is a nice person is very fun what am I saying like integral mm, mm -hmm. but no. if I'm talking about a person the personality I am, ¿qué estoy haciendo? I'm, I'm describing the person, right? Y cuando describo a una persona, basically estoy diciendo, what? Their... Is healthy. Adjectives. Mm -hmm. Adjectives. Characteristics. That's the one, the characteristics. So, hallmark is basically a synonym for characteristics so which of these definitions do you think that matches with the word hallmark teacher characteristics uh, for physical or skills in this scenario because we are talking about performance we are going to talk about skills mm. mm-hmm I think I think is the number is sorry is the letter E. Okay, in a way that is a part of something which cannot be removed. Mm, could be. Any other idea, guys? For me, letter C. Okay, an aspect, an aspect of something of something that's typical of it and can help identify it. Identify it. Okay, we have two options, letter C and letter E. Everybody? Letter C. Letter C? Okay, let's put it here. And if you want to change your mind, you can do it. Okay, have you ever heard the phrase, go the extra mile? Mm. No. Something. Yes. Get, get more that homework. Okay. <laughs> like more responsibilities, like, right, Ivan? <laughs> Give more than that you can do. <laughs> ah, these, imagine, guys, if I say, okay, everybody, for tomorrow, you have to finish the unit number one on the platform. 
but you didn't finish only the unit number one. You finished the unit number two. So what did you do? You went the extra mile. You did more than what you have to, okay? So what will be the correct definition for the number two? Letter, letter, letter D. F. Letter D. Is someone more tax or information that is necessary? Mm, give mm. more information. Okay, uh, Lucy, which one did you say? Letter D, do more than is strictly required in order to get the best results. Okay, everybody? I agree. Letter D. I agree with Lucy. Yes, letter D. Letter D, okay. And it makes sense. Remember, give extra mile is do more. Okay? Mm -hmm. More than what is required. Hacer más de lo que se nos está pidiendo. Okay? Required. Now, we have analogy. What is that? Letter A. Letter A. A comparison mm -hmm. of one thing to another in order to better explain it. Do you mm -hmm. agree, guys? I agree. Yes. Okay. How about accordingly? What is that? In the matter that is appropriate to a particular situation. Letter B. Letter B. Everybody, do you agree? Yes. yes. Okay. Pretty good. Okay. Then we have inherently. What is that? I don't know the meaning. Okay, anyone? Have you ever heard that word? Uh, I think who, um, I think um, what is inside of other things. Ah, that's a good example. Imagine that if I am from El Salvador, <laughs> um, El Salvador culture, it's inside of me. I cannot put it away, right? I cannot remove it from me because that's what I am. So what is the best definition for this word? I think letter E. Letter In e. a way that is a part of something. Which cannot be removed. Which exactly. cannot. Be. So imagine guys, think about yourselves. There are some a characteristics that are part of you that we cannot change. For example, think about something easy, the accent. <laughs> Somos salvadoreños y creo que todos tenemos un acento como salvadoreños. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Salvadoreños. Well, hey, um... <laughs> if, you, <laughs> if, you, if you talk to someone from Argentina, I mean, they have their accent too. If you talk to someone from Spain, they have their accent. And that is a characteristic that it's part of them. They cannot remove it. We cannot change it. I mean, you can try it and with a big effort, you can modify your accent. Yes, but it takes time and it's very difficult. So the accent is something inherently. It's, in, it's part of you and you cannot change it. Is it clear the meaning of that word? Yes. Yes? Pretty yes. good. Okay, then we got the number C, cog. What is that? Yeah. This is the last one. Like, yeah. The last one? Yes. Do you agree, guys? Hmm. Have you ever seen that word before? Cog? Never. Okay, in a machine, para que mm -hmm. todas las 
tuerquita vayan funcionando, there is something like this, right? Uh, I'm sorry, I cannot draw. Pero aquí engrana la otra y así van, right? Como en un reloj. Y para que vayan girando, right? Todas van conectadas y aquí va la otra. Have you ever seen that? No? <laughs> Tal vez si lo dibujara mejor, right? <laughs> but, I mean, what I'm trying to draw, it's like un engranaje, right? Do you know what engranaje is? Yes. Yes? yes? yes. So that is the yes. meaning of cog. Okay? So cog, think about a wheel, okay? With teeth. Es como una rueda con dientes. <laughs> um, I will show you a picture. But when we finish this, because if I erase this, we are going to lose the answers. Or let me try to do it without this. Mm -hmm. Okay, look at this. I'm going to... Oh. Okay, look at this. This is a cog. Look. This is what I was trying to draw, <laughs> but I'm not good at it. Oh, my ah, God. Okay, look. So, a cog, it's each of these teeth. Cada uno de estos dientitos es un engranaje, right? So, a eso se le llama cog. Understood? Mm. Yes. Yes. yes, yes. Ah, yes. very good. Okay, so cog in, in a wheel, right, with a teeth around its edge with turns and makes a machine works. Si todos van girando, ¿qué sucede con la máquina? Funciona. Exactly. Funciona. It works. Pretty good. Okay, the last one. Overburden. What is that? Overburden. Imagine if your boss gives you a lot of work and they say, okay, Ivan, we need to finish this work for right now. And, and no, I'm not going to pay you more. <laughs> the same salary. <laughs> so hurry up, work hard. How will you feel? Mm -hmm. It's a... ¿Cómo se va I a decir? feel a workaholic. <laughs> <laughs> ok. So, ¿van a tener mucha carga, sí o no? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Y aparte, la teacher le va a decir, ok, guys, we are going to have a lot of homework today. Y aparte, oh. en su casa le van a decir, ok, tienen que arreglar esto en la casa. So, you have a lot of... Wait, a lot of tasks, a lot of responsibilities. Lot of so mm -hmm. when you have a lot of responsibility to someone, a lot of task, or when you have a lot of information, then it's necessary. ¿Cómo se van a sentir? Tired. <laughs> Stressful. <laughs> Sobrecansado. Eh, sobrecargado. Sobrecargado. That's the one. So, overburden. Ese es el noun o puede ser un verbo. Sobrecarga o sobrecargar. Si quieren el adjective, like, ay, hoy me siento sobrecargado, entonces diríamos overburdened. ¿Ok? Overburdened. This is the adjective. Teacher, you, would, apply, would apply for a car, a truck, over burden, burdening? Hmm. In that case, it will be over burden with ing, if I'm not wrong. I have never seen it with objects. Siempre lo he visto con people <laughs> when we are talking about people. But oh. over burden. I think if we are talking about objects, if I'm not wrong, you have to do it, but with ing. Because remember that with ed is for feeling. So in this case, you have to say overboarding. Oops, like this. Okay. For example, when a truck cherished with cement have ah. more cement that that. It can charge, for example, mm, this uh, overboarding. 
But, you know, in this case, guys, I don't think so. If you are talking about objects, the best option is when you say overweight, like this. Overweight is HDH, like okay. this. Or HD, I'm not wrong, not like this. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot that one. But yeah, overweight. Overweight is como sobrepeso, right? But specifically, mm, not necessarily physically. Not necessariamente solo en personas. And in this case, if you are talking about a, a car, because it's not feeling, so you can add ing. Overweighting. Es decir, my car is overweighting. There are a lot of people inside. Ah, mi carrito está sobrecargado, right? Porque hay muchas personas adentro. So when we are talking about objects, it's better to use this one. Okay? Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Okay, everyone. Is clear the concept? Have you ever felt overburned in your work? Yes, sometimes. Yes, sometimes. <clears throat> yes. All the time, every day. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> and with no extra salary, right? No, oh. no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we are going to, uh, I, I need you to copy this meaning, please, so you don't forget. Okay. You can take a screenshot or copy because we are going to use them, okay? I took a screenshot. Perfect, excellent. Ready, everybody, yes? Yes, ready. Perfect, okay. We are going to use those uh, vocabulary to answer the following questions. Mm, I know that the time is not enough, so no worries. We're going to continue tomorrow. I need a volunteer, please, for reading the question number one. What is an example of when you or someone you know went the extra mile? Thank you. Aha, uh -huh, guys. Think about some, uh, some time or once <coughs> that you went the extra mile. What do you think? Think about your job. Did you go extra mile once or not? I remember one day a teacher at church when men work um, too late in construction. Okay. They they did the extra mile working the after the the, the, the noon after Maybe. the noon on Saturday. Ah, so they were working even in the afternoon too. Yes. Okay. That extra mile, pretty good. What else? Guys, can you give me an example? It could be of you or about someone else who gave or who went the extra mile. Maybe one month ago mm -hmm. in, in the company, I had problems with my, my computer. So it was a was a Friday, and on Friday we leave work at three forty five p.m. But but I was problem with my computer. My computer, I had to wait for the big computer until eight p.m. Oh, so you have to, you have to stay at work very late. Yes. Okay, so you see, that is an example of went to the extra mile. Pretty good. What else? Have you ever, guys, gone the extra mile in your job or somewhere else? Yes or not? So do you think that is a good idea to go the extra mile? Yes or no? You should do it or you shouldn't? You shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Why? If it is for a good benefit, it's a good idea. Okay. 
I believe it's good if you are the owner <laughs> you for our company now because you stress you 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 get stressful and your health is going to be weak or bad or bad and I believe there is no there is no good. <laughs> okay, it is not a good idea. That's I mean that's a good point too. <laughs> So, guys, everybody, what do you think? Is that a good idea to go the extra mile? But I think the the sometimes maybe sometimes the your manager or your boss ask you for the extra mile. So yes. sometimes we don't have, we don't have options. options. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Well, interesting. Thank you for the answers, guys. Now, tomorrow we are going to continue because we don't have more time. So try to review the vocabulary so you don't forget it. Okay. And remember, guys, we are going to finish on Friday. So that platform must be done before the class. Do you have any questions before leaving, everyone? No question. No questions? No. Question. no. Hey, let's go the extra mile. Let's stay 30 more minutes. <laughs> okay. Ah, yeah, sure. No worries, guys. That's a pleasure. <laughs> okay, everybody, have a beautiful night. Try to rest and see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Thank you. Okay. Bye -bye. Take care, Thank you. everyone.